All right, that run's done. And you know what? While I was out there, I thought, you know, time is fleeting by. The holidays are upon us. And look, I haven't even decorated. This Friday is that day we all look forward to called Black Friday. If you are a family member of somebody who loves retro computers, have I got a list for you, let me tell you. If you are looking for something for yourself under the tree, I don't know about you, but I'd love to stick a few things under the tree for me, then this could be the list for you too. Now here's the thing, most of the things on this list are things I've covered on this channel. If you want to see more information about each of those things, you, let me make sure I actually have audio over here. You can check out the video description below for a lot of links to everything you need. And you can check out my channel and search for those items somewhere on that video list. So without further ado, Let's pull up our Obsidian app here on my phone and you'll see that we have a great list of things today on this edition of Retro Combs, the Christmas gifts I recommend for 2023 for your favorite retro computing fan. Okay, now I'm gonna break this list up into two categories. The first one is stocking stuffers and these are things that are $40 or less. Your stocking stuffing may vary. Okay, so the first one is a shameless self-promotion. You can support the channel by giving a membership to a loved one or to yourself, and they only start at $1 per month. That's a deal. Don't you think that's a deal? And if you want something a little bit more or something that you can actually shove in that stocking, you can check out my store. Go to retrocombs.com slash shop. I've got all kinds of logoed garbage you don't need, but you want. So check that out. Next on my list is something called Zap64 Magazine and my European watchers and retro computing fans, they know this is the fun little magazine that you can shove in a stocking for $7 for back issues or you can get a subscription, make them happy all year round. Get them a subscription to Zap64 Magazine. Next up is a useful one and it is cables from 8-Bit Classic. Now I just learned about 8-Bit Classics at the last Vintage Computer Festival Midwest where I bought some cables. I thought, where have you been all my life? I really need these cables and they are fabulous. They're custom built. They're made specifically for retro computers. It's not like you go on to Amazon finding a cable that has some extra connectors might work, but there's video cables, there's serial cables, there's all kinds of cables, but there's other things there too. So check out our friends over at 8-Bit Classics. And again, all these links are down in the video description. You don't want to miss them. And you get some cables for about $12 and up, so check them out. Now this next one is fun. It is a modern device. It's the Raspberry Pi Pico. No, not the five. Hold that thought, but the Pico, and there's some interesting things you can do with the Pico with regards to retro computing. And one of them is you can create a BBC Micro emulated computer clone with a Pico. Try that, check it out. And you can get a Pico for about 12 bucks. I couldn't live without this next one. It is the Epic, well, as a matter of fact, I have it right here. It is the Epic's fast load cartridge. If you have a Commodore 64 or Commodore 128 running in 64 mode and you're trying to load software from a 1541, plug it into the cartridge port and you've just sped up most of your software loading significantly. And that little guy's only about 20 bucks. Another one that just happens to be here is the Hyperkin Trooper. I love this joystick anytime I have a live stream. This is the joystick I use. It's based off of the Atari 2600 CX40 uh, with some variations so that they don't get their butts sued. Uh, but it is a fabulous joystick. It is the joystick of choice for me right now. You can check that out. And it's about uh, 24 bucks. Oh, and did I mention it's got the all important nine pin den. That's what makes it special. Now, if you're looking for something that looks like retro, but it works on a modern device, then check out retro games is yes those the retro games the same people that make the c64 mini have a line of accessories and one of the accessories they have is something called the mouse and it looks like the tank mouse from the amiga and it's usb and you can plug it into a modern device and feel like you have an old tank mouse working on your modern device sometimes i use it on my mac over here it's kind of fun you can get that for about 24 dollars the other thing they have, next item, is the gamepad, which is like the Amiga CD32 gamepad, only not quite exactly like it, but it works. It's a great gamepad. And again, it's one of those modern USB devices you can plug in that gives you a retro Amiga gamepad feel. So check it out for roughly about $35. 
I mentioned the Raspberry Pi Pico earlier. Of course, if you throw a Raspberry Pi 3, 4, or if you can grab one of five and anybody's stocking, they are going to love you. They start about $40, work their ways up. And there's a lot of different kits out there. You can do so much with a Raspberry Pi. You can create a Raspberry Pi game emulator, computer emulator, just server in your home. It's, it's, it's a great device. Give it, to, give it to the one you love. It's probably the most appreciated device they'll get or gift. Probably not. Could be. Depends on who you're gifting to. All right, those are my fun stocking stuffers. Let's talk about some really cool things you can throw under the tree for that retro computing fan. Now, the first one I've already alluded to, and that's the C64 Mini. Now, if you can grab a Maxi, that's great, but the Minis are probably what you're going to find. The, the problem with the Mini is, well, there's nothing wrong with the Mini. It's $45. The problem with the Maxi is uh, there's some scalping going on, and that thing is up around 300 bucks on Amazon. I would stay away from that until those are flush in the inventory again. Just get them a C64 Mini. If they don't have one, they're going to love it. It comes with a joystick, and it is just full of 64 games. Plus, they can throw more games on there with a USB stick. And I'll put a, I'll put a USB stick down there, too, that you can purchase for that. Every retro computer fan needs SD cards, USB sticks. Throw them in the stocking. We're yeah, or throw them under the tree. It doesn't matter. Now, I also love the Kung Fu Flash. The Kung Fu Flash looks kind of like this. It, well, hang on. It's actually over here running Defender on my SX64. Again, it looks like that little cartridge right there. And it allows you to run Commodore 64 software from an SD card on your Commodore by plugging it into the cartridge port, rebooting it, and there you go. It's pretty cool. You can get those. And I didn't mention it earlier, the Epix Fast Loader over at the Future Was 8-Bit. This is a great place to get those two devices. I highly recommend that. The uh, Kung Fu Flash is about $50. Now, I mentioned the Retro Games The Mouse. If you really want a modern recreation of the Amiga Tank Mouse, check out something called, interestingly enough, Tank Mouse. And the Tank Mouse is about $63. It does not include an 8-pin DIN connector on it, but what it does have is USB and a USB to 9-pin DIN connector adapter, which is kind of cool. And it also connects via Bluetooth. There's so much you can do with this little Tank Mouse. Plus, it has the regular two buttons, but in between those two buttons, you can kind of you can kind of do this, and it'll scroll on a modern, uh, modern device like a Mac. Eh, throw that under the tree, and that's going to run you about... $63. Now, something that wasn't on my list originally, and I'm sitting here looking at it, is this wonderful Wamaxit 8-inch monitor. The reason I love it is it's an HD monitor, so it's not a 4-3 aspect ratio, but it includes composite, BNC, VGA, HDMI. It's got everything you need. It's got a great little stand, and it just looks really cool next to an old computer, and it gives it a modern kind of upgrade to the monitor. I've been using it in my studio. I've been using it with a Commodore. I've been using it really cool with my new Apple IIc. It looks really good with my Apple IIc using the composite. It's about 80 bucks. The other thing I really love is the Retron from Hyperkin. Actually, that is right here. The Retron is a recreation of an Atari 2600 that you can use to play all of your favorite cartridge games on this device. That's, that's, that's right, you put a cartridge in it. But the plus is you can also load software from SD card. For now, if you're looking to give somebody some of that good Atari 2600 Christmas morning feel, that's the device. Now remember, you're gonna need a few cartridges. So go ahead and find some of your old cartridges in your closets under your bed wherever you've got your old Atari 2600 cartridges. Cost on that bad boy is only about 80 bucks. I did a whole video on this next one. It is the Pantasy 1990s Retro Computer Building Set. Oh, and by the way, uh, in that original video, I shared with you a discount code. It was RetroCombs1. Guess what? During Black Friday, now this is not, if you're, if you're watching this after Black Friday 2023, this offer is no longer available. It's null, it's void, it's, it's not there. If you still use my RetroCombs1 code, discount code, you get still that extra 20%. So you're getting a whopping sort of like 40% off. So check it out, the Pantasy 1990s Retro Computer Building Block Brick Set. Check out my video if you wanna know what that is. It's pretty cool. And since we're talking Christmas, if you're thinking about Santa coming from the North Pole, that'd be up north for me, coming, coming down to where I am, which is in central Indiana somewhere, he's gotta go through Canada, right? And as he's coming through Canada, one of the things that he could pick up is a Naboo computer. It's, it's really a Canadian computer, right? It's the Naboo, you, you've seen it, right? If you've not, I've got four, five, six videos on it. Here's the cool thing about the Naboo. If you check the link down below, you go buy one of these. The Naboo is not like something you're buying on eBay. It is a new 
old stock in box computer that you can wrap under the tree and they get to open it up and let that 80s air come out of that box. And it is so much fun. Plus, uh, it's not going to work right out of the box. So prepare them. They're going to have to do some research and they may need a Raspberry Pi that we talked about but, or, or, or a couple of adapters. I've got all the videos and everything you need. Again, video description, but it is such a blast. And it would, it would be, again, an old new stock opening on Christmas morning under the tree. Oh, 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 Merry Christmas. Do you know you can get a recreation of the Atari 2600? It's called the Atari 2600 Plus. I have one coming my way, so stay tuned. That That's on the way. But for now, you can go to Atari. I'm not sure if you can get this thing by Christmas. You can try it. I'm not sure if they have stock. It looks like you can buy them, but it looks like a pre-order. So you're, you're on your own on this one. But what's really cool about the 2600 Plus is, of course, it plays your cartridges. It does come with a joystick. Oh, by, by the way, the Retron, that actually comes with the Hyperkin joystick. So you're getting a really good joystick with the Retron. But with the Atari 2600 Plus, you get to play 2600 games and hold on to your seats. 7,800 games. That's right. And those are really good. And that's going to run you about 130 bucks. Hey, we talked about the C64 Mini. If your retro computing fan is more of a 16-bit computer person than an 8-bit, and I'm an old 8-bit guy. I like the 8-bits. But every once in a while, I like to delve into the Amiga scene. Check out the a500 mini which is a recreation a really tiny recreation of the amiga 500 no real keyboard but it's a lot like the c64 mini it'll play a500 or amiga 500 games but with a usb stick you can plug that in and play additional amiga games check it out it would make a great gift under that christmas tree for your retro computing especially a commodore fan now this one i just fell in love with it's called the ultimate 2 plus 4 the Commodore 64. The Ultimate 2 Plus is a really great device, and I can't cover everything it does, but suffice it to say, it is basically replacing two, two 1541s with USB drives. You plug those in, you put the software on there, and it's really cool because it recreates the sounds as it's crunching through the disk drive. Something like that. Yeah, it sounds kind of like that but it crunches through it and it can do a bunch of other things like add network connectivity. And again, there's a whole host of other things I'm not covering here, but for 160 bucks, it is an amazing device that you plug into that a Commodore 64, or actually I found out it works on my 128 pretty well too. And it adds just a whole host of features that'll make any Commodore fan thrilled to find this under the Christmas tree on Christmas morning. Now this next one, uh, there's no computing to it. If you really wanna make somebody happy, get them the Lego Atari 2600 building set. It is a recreation in Lego brick of the Atari 2600. It, it doesn't really, you can't use cartridge. I mean, it's just, it's it just sits there and it's a cool build. And uh, I say it's a cool build. I don't really know if it's a cool build because mine's still in a box, but just right over there. But it is the set our family plans to put together over Christmas. So I'll, I'll let you know what I think of that. And then finally, this is one I don't have. This is one I saw. This is one I want. I don't know why I want it. Nobody likes it. Everybody's talking about it. Well, I wouldn't say everybody's talking about it, but a lot of people are talking about it. It is the Retro 8088. CPU XT PC laptop computers, basically an IBM XT clone. And it's got a horrible LCD screen from what I've heard, but you know, I want one. I don't know why I want one, uh, but I don't know that I want to spend $230 on it. So if you want to give a gift to, you know, your friend Retrocombs out here, that's something you could send because I'm not sure I can spend my hard earned money on it or my supporters hard earned money on it. It could be a really fun gift under the tree for your DOS or IBM computer fan uh, because they may just get a kick out of playing around with it. Again, it's horrible. It's terrible. It's disastrous from what I've seen, uh, but still looks just like a lot of fun. So there you go. There's my list. What do you think? Drop those comments down below. Let me know what I missed. And again, a lot of these things are things I've just covered on the channel. I use regularly. I can vouch for the majority of them, except for that IBM XT. If you really want to make me happy though, join me and hit that subscribe button. Well, I've already hit subscribe, but hit that subscribe button. That's a gift you can give to me for Christmas. Good luck with all of your holiday shopping. I hope I helped a little bit. Retro comes out. We'll see you in the next live stream. Bye.